So the track in London, another unique one for Formula E. This time we go indoors and outdoors, so 22 corners, a shorter lap for us, around 2,060 metres. A lot of the outdoor section is really tight, twisty, and change of direction is important, and it's a balancing act. Indoors, you've got really high grip, that section outside where you want the car to rotate, you need to balance the setup. The drivers need to balance their approach as well. Make sure that their systems are well in tune with the tyre and their overall setup and the driving approach that they want to attain. So climate, a really interesting one at London events. So first of all, you can get some rain come in and when that rain comes in, obviously you've got an indoor section and outdoor section. A lot of times if you get rain outdoors, it can start to be brought inside and that surface, although it's a painted resin with like a sand quantity in it to try and keep it grippy, that will behave differently when it gets wet. So weather's important. Also, there are lots of bumps, particularly on the section from turn 12 to turn 16. So as it gets wet, that becomes even more tricky. The drivers have to keep their eyes on stalks and make sure they do a decent job. But overall, still a really good track and a good challenge for everybody.